today I want to share with you this exciting gift that was very, very kindly sent to me. If you watch Angela Fair, then you've probably already seen these beautiful brushes, but I was very uh, excited and grateful that um, the maker of these brushes, Tracy Lebenson, hopefully I'm not butchering his name, uh, asked me also to try them out. So I thought I will just show you all the brushes, tell you which is which, and then we can test them together. I did break them in like he uh, recommends and explains. I ran them under warm water a couple of times just to make sure all of the hair throughout the brush was um, you know, completely wet and there was no air trapped inside and that the bristles are wet all the way through. And then, um, yeah, we will test them out and paint something together. I'm very excited about that. So I don't know if I will be able to use all 10 brushes, but I'm sure going to try. Now, uh, Tracy makes uh, a beautiful range of brushes with natural hair and synthetic hair. I asked only to try the synthetic hair. He has beautiful natural hair brushes. Uh, they're also more expensive. That's another reason that I really like also, um, you know, recommending and painting with synthetic hair because they are more affordable and I know more people can uh, buy them. So that is uh, why all of these are synthetic but there are natural hair brushes. Okay, so let's take a look. This one is the Large Soft White Synthetic and it costs $120. It's a big one. You can see the, the handles are made from bamboo, which is also sustainable. And I, I really, really love that aspect of his business. I think that's kind of the future. And I know not everyone can afford it, but, um, it's, it would be a great gift and the smaller brushes are more affordable. So let's, um, let's look at them. This one is the Wayne Gee Orange Synthetic, $55. Uh, and the Wayne Gee, from what I understand, <laughs> I read all the research that he sent me, tried to be a good student. And um, yeah, so it's just a type of bamboo and they look beautiful. If you like that aesthetic of, you know, handmade, natural looking um, supplies, <laughs> I mean, this is perfect. It, it doesn't get more natural than this, except the synthetic <laughs> fibers. <laughs> That's just my thing. Okay, next is this one, the Wayne Soft White Synthetic. This is also 55 um, dollars and you can see the nice thing is that these don't have uh, a ferrule like you know like regular brushes have this this part that is called the ferrule and he says that that kind of allows it doesn't distress the hair as much as the hair is you know it's pressed here I have no idea but for sure it looks really really pretty <laughs> so that's that's my impression. This is the small stiff white synthetic and it costs $25. And which one? Let's move on to this one. This is the small brown synthetic and this one is $25. I think from the shape of it, I think this will probably be one of my favorites. This one, also beautiful. They kind of give me a vibe of um, Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> magic wands. <laughs> so let's hope they do magic on the paper. <laughs> this is the medium brown synthetic. This is $50. It's beautiful. Then we have this one. This one looks pretty cool. This is the small stiff white synthetic. It's $25. And you can see this is really long, probably like five centimeters. Lovely. And then, okay, now we're getting to the really, really cool one. This one is beautiful. This is a small brown synthetic. This is $25. Uh, dollars. And then this one is the small brown synthetic, also $25. And you can see it has a very small tip. So this would be great, I can imagine, for like um, grass if you paint, you know, landscapes. And this one I think is my favorite because of the handle, <laughs> the little... 
um, branch. It's like also really long, so I think it'll be really fun to play with. This one is the Itty Bitty Orange Synthetic, and it's also $25, and you can see the tip is Itty Bitty. Hopefully you can see. Okay, so that is the names, the prices, you know, make a note. I will list everything below and I will link you also to his website, which is full of tons and tons of information about these brushes. But let's see how they perform. Okay, so let's start painting. I was going to do two demonstrations. The first one using um, just some student grade paper that I have to see how they work and then I was going to use 100% cotton watercolor paper um, just you know so we can get a better sense but I only managed to do this one and yeah I don't think I'll narrate everything unt until the end of the video because it, as you can hear I have a cold and yeah I'm I'm a bit coughing it's not fun so I wanted to record as I promised my wish list video but I think that'll have to wait for next week until I get better and I can talk for you know 20 minutes or half an hour without uh, a coughing attack so I uh, just wanted to say that I hope you'll enjoy this video and patiently wait uh, what's coming next? As I said, I'm going to do a wish list video, just stuff that I'm interested in, and I think they would be nice gifts because I would love to receive them. <laughs> so, things that I think are cool or interesting, but I haven't tried myself. And then I'll do a gift guide for, um, you know, presents you can get for your artist friends or for yourselves. Um, as for the brushes, I really, really enjoyed painting with them and I have been painting some more with them after filming. Uh, They're really, really beautiful. So I don't have yet a lot of experience with them, but I will keep you updated and uh, that's why I really enjoy doing the monthly favorite videos because I can uh, show you what I'm using. So let's see if these make it to that video. For sure, they are the most interesting uh, looking brushes that I have. What I did notice is that was really enjoyable, especially with the large brushes, is how light they are because of the bamboo handles. You know, for a big brush, they're really light. So I think if you have any kind of like wrist issues or arthritis or something like that, um, this might be a really nice brush for you to have, especially the big ones. I know there are uh, also the expensive ones, but they're just really, really light to hold. And um, that was a nice feature that I noticed as I was painting with them. Also, the lines are very um, interesting and these are, I mean, they obviously work really well for watercolors and other mediums, but I think the design is traditionally more of like a calligraphy style brush, which works really well for my personal style that uh, I really enjoy adding kind of expressive, unique brush strokes to my paintings. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, playing with these and I'm continuing to play with them and kind of share my opinion. Opinion. I'm going to play you some music and you know it's 2020 so obviously instead of um, making fun videos talking about um, pretty gifts for artists I'm going to go cough a little bit and <laughs> drink some tea and you know take some medications <laughs> all the good stuff <laughs> that we do when we have a cold. I'm also writing some important things in my opinion <laughs> adding them to my blog and i'm just working on all kinds of things for example uh, a review of several online learning platforms you know where is the best place to learn watercolors in my opinion with kind of advantages and disadvantages of uh, different platforms so I will keep you updated on all of these things, but yeah, just know there are things coming in all kinds of formats. I also will post very soon uh, on my website a little bit about my own personal story. 
I don't share that very often. I don't know. I guess I don't feel comfortable talking about myself on social media. Um, but I think, you know, maybe some of you can relate to just how I got into art and how I learned to paint in watercolors. So I'll keep you updated on all of these things. But yeah, just watch out for that. And I'll probably see you next week with new videos. I'm going to relax and hopefully get well. I wish you all the best and take care, stay safe, <clears throat> watch the video till the end, you know, drink a cup of tea and listen to the relaxing music. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all those good things, absolutely free. I post new videos every week and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.